Hey everyone, I'm Alfred. Welcome back to Middle Earth Shadow of Mordor. This episode's called The Cure. I assume no relation to the band, but who knows. I don't care of the risks. It's for the well-being of the Queen. The lady this does not Attacking the camp would be ill-advised. He's on our side. Who else would walk up so brazenly without a weapon drawn? I need my mother's elixir. Even the stranger says this is a fool's errand. I know who she reminds you of, Terry. She is of this world. You are not. Enough! We attack as planned. Don't do Italian. We could follow behind unseen. We get the medicine. Yeah, I don't know about I don't know about you, but you don't exactly look like a master of stealth. My shoulders are huge. All right, drop the sound back down. Two, three, back in. White wizard has taken his toll on the queen. Only in stealth can we clear a path so Lothariel and the men may find the elixir. Emotion fogs your way. Risk without reward is recklessness. This medicine will clear the queen's mind and lead to answers of your past. Then may truth justify our alliance with these people. Luga. Oh man. Power six. But he's not, a, he has no immunities. He has additional strengths, but he does not have immunities. Without triggering an alarm, that could be problematic. Peekaboo. Excuse me, sir. Maybe it was just rats. I was bored to tears, too. So yeah, like, game's good, to be sure. Maybe we should do that so one last. A hot iron or a yeah, we'll do that one last. Well, I guess it doesn't matter where the alarm is triggered, as it's just that it is triggered, so. We just need to make sure that the alarm doesn't get triggered, and we'll be fine. Whoops. Can I grab you? I know that he can grab me because he's got the grappler ability, but... Cool. They must know that she will risk everything to protect their queen. She knows that the keystone sleep arch will fall. Looks like someone's killing Uruk. All right, I don't see anybody looking at me. Let's get to high ground. It's too bad I couldn't uh, brand that guy. I want to get more orcs on my side. I want to. I want to be able to have the entire army. Ooh, I got a thing. I want to have the entire army. Flames of Vengeance. Double charge. Perform two. Ooh, that one's really good. Because already we can take a hit. Yeah, take a hit without the hit streak getting burnt. Death threat. So this means that the we send a guy to go uh, yell at a, a captain for us. The subsequent captain then drops a better rune. I think you can do that to your own captains, but I'm not sure. Fire arrow. Maybe. Dispatch. See, so yeah, that can... This is, this is a dangerous thing. I think we'll get this last, just because I don't want to hit it by mistake. So this one pairs well with the double one. Any orc that is burnt, branded, or like anything like that, anything that you tap, you'll just instant kill them. That's just useful. Let's grab double charge, just because there's no reason to not want to do two of them, and then we'll grab 
maybe the ability to uh, do two. Or do uh, uh, arrow shots quicker. Them slide masters at the mines need to work their soft skins harder. That's interesting. The Karagor is marked as a uh, as a uh, a thing I need to kill. I wonder why. I guess I could raise. I guess I could kill people, but it couldn't raise the alarm. Because that's what I was thinking. I was like, can Karagors raise the alarm? How do they get him? Damn. You seem like a danger. All righty. The Thoriel's drive is infectious. I can see why men follow her conviction. I'm curious about because um obviously I'm gonna play the sequel right. Uh, typically when I do an LP, I like to do a like full LP, so I like to play the whole story of a game. Um, and because I'm LPing it, I either like to be like upfront and be like, "Hey, I'm not gonna I'm not gonna get the whole game 100%ed because that'll eat up too much of my time." Or, um, you're like, yeah, I'll, I'll just be like, hey, not going to 100% this game. Or I will go out of my way to 100% it. Um, and on games that are blind LPs, which is to say a game where, like, is that everyone? Well, is that guy? Is that guy? They might burn to death, though. Who's even seeing me? You? That guy ran away, but I didn't kill him. Did you find what you needed? Yes. Take this to the queen immediately. I doubt any mention of man for cure. <laughs> yeah. Rando Mick Iron Helm is gonna <laughs> is gonna solve this problem. This message. Orc leaders plan a gathering by the fishing village. We can prepare an ambush. I owe you a great thanks. Orcs know how to write. I'm glad to be of assistance. We're lucky to have you. These are not your people, Talion. Remember your wife and son. This is so interesting. I mustn't keep you. To have like, yes. this, is, this is like a, I don't know what the name for this like dynamic is. But like Venom and Eddie Brock where it's like, hello, I'm a normal human. And then, and then the evil little voice in your ear is like, fucking kill them. Just eat them. Just fucking rip their heads off and shit. It'd be so cool, and you're like, shut up. And like, you can't, you can't just like think it to him. rather than fear. I read a, uh, I read a story about a guy who um, played a character like that. Like, uh, he was on Discord. He was doing a D and D game partially on Discord, uh, where the DM and his girlfriend were on Discord. And so only him and the DM could hear his girlfriend. And if he wanted to say something to her, he had to say it out loud. Um, and so, like, his girlfriend can just play his intrusive thoughts, you know, his character's intrusive thoughts. And just be like, we could just kill him. It would solve the problem. And, like, you know, you're having a normal conversation. And then the one, like, the one duogamous crazy guy in your party is like, we can't just murder him again. Peekaboo. He's run off. But yeah, I don't know the name for that dynamic, but I kind of like it. But again, you can see, like, uh, Celebrimbor's first and foremost. Is that a face? Oh my god, I never noticed that in the old version. Well, I guess, like, playing on my TV. Oh, that's so gnarly. Done with what exactly? 
Make sure the grave walker can find her. That's so gnarly. And look, you can see that his armor is like sewn into his skin. Lotharius. We must find her quickly. Stay quiet. Emotion will add weight to your step. That is a that is a that's a good line, but like that's the thing about Calabrimbor. Like it so much of his stuff is like that is why we must he's her. trying to She's to be a corrupter. But like for the sake of good, you know? Like that's such a weird way to like have your character act and behave and be. Um, and this is something discussed a little more in the DLC, but, like, Killer Brimbor is almost more of, like, he's like an evil version of Sauron, but Sauron's already evil. He's like an evil version of Sauron, but Sauron's already evil. Nobody? Nobody raising the alarm? Awesome. And so, like, on the one hand, yes, he's evil in his own way. Uh-oh. Bring light. And he does it for his own reasons, but, like, he can be, like, a greater good type, you know? And like, you know, there's that old age, age, age old quote from Watchmen. And my wife loves this quote, but like... The circumstances of it appearing are kind of a spoiler, so I'll just say the quote, but... A character is like, do the ends justify the means? And another character says something to the effect of, it never ends, you know? There isn't just an end, you can't just say that, you know? Oh, crap. Oh, this isn't good. Dang. That was cold as fuck. Alright, can we get you? Cool. But yeah, the idea of like... Saruman is, like, arguably chaotic evil, or he's lawful evil, depending on how you're judging it or how you're saying it, and how Sauron is acting, and how he's being portrayed. But, like, if we're going with the idea that Sauron is a chaotic evil character... Let's brutalize. <laughs> Hyper lethal vector. They forced me to watch as they killed my men, one after another. Oh no, now you're going to become Chris Redfield. We must hurry. The Uruks rally when their brethren fall. So will my tribe. Plan your vengeance once we have escaped. I don't seek vengeance. I fight because it would be wrong not to. Be yeah, very interesting to have like a character who is essentially a. Oh, hey guys. I can no longer draw my sword. What's going on? Let's get a little more in the armor, huh? So can I just start push pushing the button? I can. That gets the sun off at least. Okay, so I do need to do more of that in order to get the guys off.
That's not who I wanted. Well, wow, that's okay. I am but a handicap to you, Talion. You were hurt because of me. I am a handicap to you. Or yeah, like, lawful evil Calibrimbor. And, like, granted, he's not even full evil choice. right now. He's more lawful neutral. It's it just that morality is usually, like, really, really black and white in Lord of the Rings. And so, like, it's hard to just be like, oh, well, they're just, they're, they're neutral. And it's like, neutrality gets people killed. You know? Like this is this is stuff about the fate of the world and the dawn of creation and all that shit. And so being neutral gets people killed, you know. And like characters who you would normally describe as being neutral. Like um Saruman is uh, like arguably a neutral character. Ooh, now we're getting the army going. Steady. I'm here. Let's make haste. My leg is broken, not my spirit. Classic. The of Sauron I think that's a Zugma. On your whereabouts, but I did not betray you. Then you have proven my faith. Uh, but yeah, like. Now prove mine. Also, being neutral usually just means that it's a matter of uh, a matter of time until you fall to one side or the other. Like Boromir does eventually fall to evil, the but then endless. he goes back and then he dies. The sword can only take so many. The black hand is here. That's a good thing, right? The black hand. Hey. <laughs> Guys, are you serious? Kind of useful just to use this as like bullet time to just take a look at things, you know? We got the posse going. That's cool. But yeah, I do know that, like... And, like, I feel weird about spoiling this because, like, yes, the game is old, but, like, if you're watching this, it might be new. But on the other hand, they put this stuff in the trailers for, uh... For Shadow of War, the sequel to this. And so, like, I don't know how, how crazy it, it gets, but, like, I know that apparently... <laughs> That's a good line. Well, does Stop the bleeding, idiot. I had a family once. A wife. You could just say it because it's the right thing to do. Because it is. And I buried them along with everyone I even knew. Well, someone else buried them. My mother can help you. Behind her, Calibrimbor's like... I don't need be a champion to my people. Over there. I don't belong you here, he says. Alone. Is that your answer? Milady, help her. Let me help. You need to leave this place immediately. You got a feel. Thank you, Ranger. He's got his hand on her sword. Got my eyes on you. Cool. Lothariel and her men will not survive Mordor. They must leave or perish. The Black Hand will suffer for this. We were part of the road yesterday. So now, they're gonna have to work twice as hard. So where's the next story mission? All the way over here. No, that's a dwarf mission. Huh. Then, I don't know what I'm doing. <laughs> I could just run around and look for artifacts. But it'll probably be a thing where, like, it pops as soon as I do something, so. You can't always get every... God. Just, you know, instant pop and every mission right after doing it. Or doing the one preceding it. But yeah, um... It's kind of a spoiler because, like, it was in the trailer and stuff. But I know that, like, Talion and Celebrimbor, like, slip further into evil. And, like, Celebrimbor feels, like, pretty evil. 
like as is. So I can only imagine that Calibrimbor getting more evil would degenerate into like open super villainy, right? Like that's where that's going. Also, I mentioned that something is a Zugma. I believe that's how the word is pronounced. I've only read it. But a Zugma is something that is uh, poetically applicable to two things, but only literally applicable to one thing. Like the phrase, teeth and ambitions are bared, or um, Lucifer's fall from grace, also being a literal fall from heaven. Oh, I'll bet. What type of battle scars did you get from a black... Crank my boy here. Gate, eh? Splinters. <laughs> oh, well, did you uh, scar your voice, telling your soldiers to head into battle? Tread lightly. My scars run very deep. Huh. What if you just started crying in front Mighty of him? Mighty Grog. You give me these. Damn, on the neck. And the also. That's hard to survive, especially without modern health. Took mountain partner. So, what now? Well, another lesson for you, my captain. <clears throat> Maybe you'll even come out of this one on Scar. <laughs> so, what backward lesson do you have planned this time, eh? He's so Shooting conversational and fun with him, you Grog? know? You want to hunt Grog? And so you shall. But not just any Grog. This is a rare one. It's territorial. Strong enough to claim land as its own. And you and me, we're trespassing. Well, I think I might see Tell it down me, there. Tell me, Captain. You ever slay a grog before? Today will be the first of many. <laughs> now you're talking like a hunter. I've got a feeling in my gut you may survive this, Captain. Well, since that's the largest part of you, I like those odds. He's not so even I that you have a bad. To kill this grog. I do, Captain. Like they keep going with it. I Since wonder so if you find like the concept art of Torben. I'll tell you how, step by step. He'll have like a step huge one, beer gut. When he's crunching on an uruk, sneak up behind the giant beast and bleed the bastard's ankle. But why not his throat? There is one place grogs aren't covered in spiky scales. They don't call a weakness a grog's heel for nothing. You want me to sidle up to this beast? If you can manage it without being crushed, yes. There it goes. What a fine, fine specimen. And it'll meet a fine. I know that Grogs also become more of a thing. And attract caribou. It's crazy. Um. But yeah, Lord of the Rings is known for having its like trolls. I've got to pierce its ankle if I want to bleed it. But trolls can't be out in the sun. They'll turn to stone. Step two, Captain. The blood will trap Caragos. Jump on one before she jumps on you. Your speed will now match the grounds. Get her to chase you. I'll be waiting. That will be quite a ride. Oh, man. I need a Karagor for speed. Drug me, Doctor. Yeah, these things, um, the Grogs, like, because the trolls are, are rather famous and well-known and stuff. Uh, but these things, these Grogs, look almost more like... Sounds easy enough. Hey guys, what's going on? 
Uh, but yeah, Grogs look almost more like Rancors from Star Wars. Those big, those big fellas in uh, Episode Six that Luke kills. Wait, this is step four, though, isn't it? Wasn't step three that you distracted? Or did you not want to say the real step three out loud in order to make sure that the Grog wouldn't hear? That would be rather simple. Oh, I just realized I didn't turn the sound down. Pardon me if that was far too loud. Let me just inch that down. What's step four? There is no step four. It should be dead. You must have done it wrong. I'm following your orders. Well, that's your problem. Think for yourself. Oh, that's so... Nope, not you. Get you away from here. Maybe you gotta go up the back. Here we go. Little elegante here as well. Yeah, you already know what it is. <laughs> Anytime that there... It's like a rule or something. Anytime that there is a large enemy, you must get on their back and use it to wreck the level or... Like... <laughs> kill other enemies. My character is doing it too. See, so yeah, this is a this is a cool mechanic, but you you barely get any chance to use it, you know, because you almost always have to be in a Torben mission to get the opportunity to use this. And in like the big strongholds where you like really would need a Graug, you, they don't have the room to maneuver and operate. Um. of my blade. <laughs> Crank that back up. Pardon me, we're just having so many cutscenes and I really want to hear Corvin's voice. I like it. We bit unusual to ride the ground. Something like a little improvising, eh? Huh? All right, Captain. That's it. You should instinct. Gumption. Respect. <laughs> Training's over. Got cuts. Let's go spill some, hey? I have no idea what I'm going to call this episode. Maybe I'll just literally call the it Dark three story Mordor missions. doesn't seem to touch that dwarf. The Seven Rings of Power did not turn the Dwarf Kings to wraiths, as the Nine Rings did to man. That's a true fact. They are a stubborn as stone and cannot be dominated by evil. That is why Sauron has sworn to destroy them. The hobbits and dwarves are resilient to the mind control bullshit of the, the rings. Which is why, uh... Which is why, like, Frodo and Bilbo were both able to hold the ring for, like, so long. Um, and not, like, slip and fall into evil. Um... But yeah, there were seven seven rings made for the dwarf lords, uh, and Sauron wanted to make them into wraiths, just like he did with the nine rings and the ring rings. However, um, that ended up never happening because dwarves are just made of sterner stuff. Uh, one of the thing is is that elves are made by I think Iluvatar. Eru Iluvatar is the name of the god. Um. And he made elves and humans, whereas dwarves are made by somebody else, somebody like different. What killer? This mind control. It's a little more moral when the beast can't even engage in like 
you know, language before. That was the wrong button. Good shot of the orc's black blood, though. That's cool. But yeah, dwarves were actually made by a different god, and so they're like differently divine. I'm so. Medallion have two. Um, and it's why like they almost. Like, how do I put this? They almost, like, don't count, you know? Do you have any updates to the army? No, everyone's still dead. Maybe I will... Maybe I'll just, like, advance the, the timeline. Um... But yeah, that's the episode, everyone. Thank you all for coming. I had a really good time just doing some... Dang ol', uh... uh like, plotline stuff. Yeah, I guess I'll just call it, like, three story missions or something. Um, I got to talk about a little lore, but I'm kind of running dry on stuff to talk about. Um, this is getting to the end of Act 2, I think, or like, I think the end of Act 2, or maybe the start of Act 3. But anyway, the point is, is that the story is flagging a little bit. This happened a little earlier as well, um, and that's why I did a bunch of stuff off screen. But here, I already did a bunch of stuff off screen, and now I feel like I have more stuff to do off screen. Uh, but yeah, I've been Alfred. This has been Middle Earth Shadow of Mordor. I'll see you guys next time. Thank you for coming. Everyone have a good day. Bye. -bye.